On the verge of being elected governor of California in 2003, Arnold Schwarzenegger found himself answering charges in the Los Angeles Times that he had sexually harassed multiple women. Many of the things that are in there are not true, he said, and then other things may be true, and in case they are, that's why I want to apologize, end quote. Well, today, almost eight years later, Schwarzenegger is apologizing again for other things no one imagined. Here's David Wright. A week ago, their 25-year marriage, including seven years as the first couple of California, came to an end with a whimper. Today came the inevitable bang. A bombshell disclosure from Schwarzenegger himself that more than a decade ago, he secretly fathered a child with a household employee and that the mother of that child remained a daily presence in the lives of Maria Shriver and the couple's four children until January, when Schwarzenegger left the governor's office and the employee quit. The New York Times reports tonight that for a time, 14 years ago, both Shriver and the mistress were at the house, both pregnant with Schwarzenegger's kids. After leaving the governor's office, I told my wife about this event, Schwarzenegger said today in a statement. I understand and deserve the feelings of anger and disappointment among my friends and family. We found out a week ago Sunday that there was a baby. We didn't publish it on the site because um, we had called various people in Arnold's camp and they just flatly denied it. Harvey Levin of the TMZ website says the first clues came from what Shriver herself was telling her confidants. Maria has been talking to friends about this over the last couple of weeks. And that's when all of this started to seep out a little bit. So she herself has been talking. She's been flirting with divorce now for a while. Schwarzenegger is used to ignoring the cameras buzzing around him. So that cold stare that greeted today's posse was nothing new. Now his children, all five of them, are going to have to develop the same skill. I will tell you that the mother of Arnold's love child has a price on her head, as does the child. And I would guess for the paparazzi who gets the first shot of them and is able to identify it, we're talking somewhere between half a million and a million dollars. These pictures were taken by paparazzi yesterday outside an L.A. restaurant. Hours before Schwarzenegger went public with the story, he and his eldest daughter Catherine had just finished a father-daughter chat. Today, 21-year-old Catherine Schwarzenegger tweeted, this is definitely not easy. Her 17-year-old brother Patrick was even blunter. Some days you feel like expletive, he tweeted. Some days you want to quit and just be normal for a bit. Pointedly, he recently changed his Twitter name to Patrick Shriver. No! The half-brother he just learned about was born about the time his father filmed collateral damage. In other words, before Arnold Schwarzenegger entered politics. The stories of infidelity threatened early on to derail Schwarzenegger's candidacy. Not just allegations of cheating and groping, there were even tabloid reports of a love child. Schwarzenegger denied them all. Here he is on the bus with Peter Jennings at the height of the 2003 recall campaign. Isn't it odd that, that three days and four days before the campaign, all of a sudden all these women want to have an apology? Isn't it odd? I mean, you have common sense, Peter. You can figure it out for yourself. I want to thank her so much for being the greatest wife and the most spectacular partner. And I know how many votes I got today because of you. What ultimately rescued his candidacy was the strong, likable woman at his side. And now, at Oprah's side, rebutting the naysayers with the passion and eloquence of a Kennedy. They said, well, you know she's a Kennedy woman, mm -hmm. and they always look the other way. Well, you know, that ticks me off. Yeah. <laughs> I am my own woman. I have not been, quote, bred to look the other way. Only today is it clear just how badly he betrayed her. This is a painful and heartbreaking time, Maria Shriver said today in a statement. As a mother, my concern is for the children. I ask for compassion, respect, and privacy as my children and I try to rebuild our lives and heal. When you have money, power, and sex, you have an explosive cocktail mix that results in such behavior, but it's aided and abetted by the fact that a lot of the people who are in power are arrogant. They come to believe they're untouchable. 
Schwarzenegger is just the latest in a long list of culprits. Like the would-be French presidential frontrunner now behind bars at Rikers Island, all those rumors were just rumors until now. Of course, Dominique Strauss-Kahn is now a criminal suspect. Schwarzenegger has merely joined the rogues gallery of fathers of illegitimate children, a pantheon that also includes famous rock stars and one-time presidential candidates, Democrat and Republican. Part of intimacy in a good marriage is that there's the good and the bad, and there's strengths and weaknesses and successes and failures. And, and sometimes when, when somebody is not, is not open to you know, the negative feedback or the criticism, they can develop a double life. Now, I don't know if Arnold's like that, but it happens a lot of times where, where the, the wife is sort of seen in their head as the critical mother, and then they go find somebody that just makes them feel good all the time. Ironically, Schwarzenegger himself will likely escape any professional fallout from this. He's now out of politics and back to stardom. Fans tend to be more tolerant than voters. And let's face it, the people that shell out money for Terminator tickets aren't necessarily the ones that are terribly sensitive to women's issues. He doesn't do and shouldn't do romantic comedies, so it really is not his target audience. Doubtful he'll be doing a sequel of Junior anytime soon. You know, there's a... There's a baby here. Uh, there, there must be a mother. Indeed, the next few months may be toughest on Shriver, who's no doubt left reevaluating every household encounter for the last 10 years. She's decided enough is enough, and that's why we're here today, and that's why the revelations have finally come out. Shriver's favorite poem is The Journey by Mary Oliver. She keeps a copy of it on her desk. One day you finally knew what you had to do and began, though the voices around you kept shouting their bad advice. Last year she asked the poet to read it aloud at the annual women's conference she organizes. And there was a new voice, which you slowly recognized as your own, determined to do the only thing you could do, determined to save the only life you could save. Hers. She'll now continue her journey without him. I'm David Wright for Nightline in Los Angeles.